Come on board. Do the sand cave. Beautiful. This spot is incredible. Dex just saw a bus stop here. Oh no. Unreal. We got dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Sunday everyone! Yeah, welcome back guys. Now we're continuing the new chapter of the castaways, which means we've got access to a boat and we're now exploring further afield, aren't we? Yeah, we saw a little sand cave in the latest episode, so we're heading there and we're spending the night there tonight. This is going to be awesome guys. You guys know we're living from the ocean, catching our food and we're going to set up camp somewhere pretty special. This is going to be fun. Come with us. Let's go. Permission to come on board? Permission granted. Come on board. Let's go have some fun. Do it. To the sand cave. To the sand cave. Let's <laughs> go. We've got to race this tide out though. It's very shallow and dropping quick. Look out for manta shrimp. Oh, look at all the coral spawning. Oh. Bone fish. Hello, mister. That was a big boy. There's another one over there. Hello. Oh, another one. There's so many. All right, drop it there, please. What's the plan here, Fran? Well, it looks really nice. We're just gonna jump in for a snorkel. Take you down there. Sounds good. So we've just driven over a couple of these uh, really big bommies and really stand out. These big white ones like this generally hold a lot of nice fish. So we're going to jump in and just swim this reef edge here. That was so nice. Oh, it's beautiful in there, eh? A bit murky, but time to find a home for tonight. Yep, sounds good. Let's go find somewhere to set up camp. You hanging on? Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice and clean. I think there's a spot up here we can camp on. That's the sand cave. This spot is incredible. There's beautiful live coral straight off the sand cave here. We're about to pull ashore. Pretty cool. Doesn't get better than this. No, I don't think so. Look I'm excited to call this home for tonight. Yeah, nice. Look at the water color. Holy wow. moly. All right, hang on. Look at this. This is just bloody beautiful. So this is the high tide mark. We should be all right for tonight. Got enough sand. Thanks for anchoring. So this is going to be absolutely perfect for tonight. We'll get the swag out, get a few of our things out, put them up above the tide line. And yeah, this is where we'll set up camp for tonight. But we've got a whole day of adventures to come. So we'll unload and then get straight back to the action. Oh, are you going to catch the anchor? <laughs> So of course, while we're out here, we're still relying on the ocean for our source of protein. So it means, as you guys know, we're to catch something throughout the day. Um, we're a bit of a chance to catch a bluefin trevally or even a coral trout here with the lure. We'll see how we go. If no luck, we'll jump in for a swim a little bit later on. What are you hoping for for dinner, Fran? All we got is one potato and one onion. So <laughs> <laughs> anything really. We're gonna need something. Just a little shark here in the shallow. There's a bit of a channel running through here. There might be some bigger fish in there. Look at over the color of the sand and the water. Oh, it's so, so nice, pretty. eh? Like pristine. Going for it, Jack. Oh, we just ignored it. There was a bluefin trevally about that size, which would have been perfect, but he uh, turned his nose up. Oh, get away, no! 
Don't do it. <laughs> you were silly. He, he wanted it, didn't you? <laughs> They're normally smarter than that. They don't normally take lures, but he wanted it. Dexter saw a bust up here. Do you think it was a GT? I didn't see it, but something was chasing mullet. And that generally to chase big mullet would have had to have been a big GT. Didn't see the fish though. Go again, go again. No luck, we might have to jump back on the boat and uh, look for something, hey? Yeah, sounds good. I do want to put the drone up quickly and see what we can spot down here. Sounds good. Oh no, I don't think he's big enough for dinner. These honeycomb cod, it's amazing the size of the bait these honeycomb cod think they can eat. Greedy guts. All right, this is gonna be the perfect home base for us, but it's not even midday yet, so we've, we've left our main camp stuff set up here. Now it's time to go explore. It's so good having a boat to get to like different parts of the lagoon to check out. Keen for a snorkel, friend? Keen. You spooked them. What are you seeing, Fran, a few turtles? There's so many little turtles here. Mm, all those One, shadows, two, eh, two, turtles. Five, They're really small as well. Amazing. How's the know. color of that water? It's just incredible. This is just so special to be able to be out here venturing a bit further and seeing these types of things. We're enjoying the new chapter of the castaways thus far. Long Tom. Oh yeah. Unreal Fran, eh? Hey? Amazing. Can you see the black shadow? Oh, oh belly flip! Oh, she's having a look at us. He's upside down. Hey! That's crazy! We like you too. She just checked us out, hey? Rolled completely <laughs> upside down. Yeah. That's awesome. The water's a bit murky here, but we might jump in a little bit later when it clears up. There's three tiny manta rays here. Where are they up to? I'm gonna see if I can uh, show you on the water. There's a little cleaner rust on this spot, me they were getting clean. Oh, Oh, that was awesome to come across a couple of manta rays like that. The water is so clear we can see everything from the boat and it seems to be getting cleaner as we head out this way. So we're going to keep venturing out, keep exploring and then probably get in the water out here somewhere. Just pulled up at a spot here, put the anchor down. We're about to jump in and have a swim. But before we do so, I'll just have a cast. Oh, we've got a fish on here. It is a beautiful little blue fin trevally. Look at that. We're gonna get a bigger one for dinner. Jack just found a little wreck. We're gonna jump in and check it out.
fish blowing on its nest. Really? Watch Jack episode on the Back to Basic channel when he talks about this spawning. You're gonna have to have a look because it's so cool. Jack Regans is gonna get a bluefin. Let's see what you can do. Oh, there, there he oh, is. <laughs> what? Told ya. <laughs> that was crazy. So I'd just been for a swim and I saw a big bluefin trevally harassing some bait fish on top of that bombing. And sure enough, first cast, he was all over this one. We got dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Perfect. And that is dinner. A beautiful bluefin trevally. Look at those colors. Just beautiful. Got to be one of the most electric fish to catch. And when they're feeding, when they're hunting, they light up that beautiful blue color. What's the plan, Captain? So we're going to pull in here and get a couple of coconuts to rehydrate and also there's a lack of driftwood where we're gonna camp. So we'll pinch a bit of wood from here and then shoot over and set up camp for the night. Beautiful spot. Oh, no. All right, I need some shade ASAP. This will do us here. All right, time to get a couple of coconuts and uh, some driftwood for tonight. It does. Coconut spotted, nice and easy. I hold the boat and you bring the wood? Yeah. Okay. Home sweet home! Alright, I'm going to fill this bluefin trevally up and we're going to use the meat and cook it a little bit differently to anything you guys have seen here on the castaways, which is exciting. We've got a few more ingredients to work with tonight's cook up. I think Fran is going to cook up a bit of a storm. There we go, beautiful white flesh the bluefin trevally have. Unlike a lot of the other trevallies, they're actually really good eating. So I'll take this up and then um, I think Fran's got something in mind for it. The boat anchored up for a little bit. All right, we've probably got half an hour to go until the sun sets. So we've got to make a fire. I think Fran's setting up the camp now. And I did spot on the drone a big GT cruising in the shallows here. So if we get time, I'll see if we can have a cast and catch him. Bed with a view. Room of the view. Can't wait for sunset. It's gonna be good, huh? Got this really nice period now, like 20 minutes or so while the fire's ready. We can just go for a bit of a walk. We're gonna see if there's anything in these rock pools, like more our eels hunting or anything like that. And we just realized that a couple of nights ago it was a full moon during coral spawning. So we're gonna go for a nice snorkel after dinner and see if we can see any of that. That's a huge one. What are you doing all the way up here? You must have come in right. Oh, there's two of them. Ready for that. Oh. <laughs> what a sunset. How's the fire going? The fire's going well. One last cast. Go for it. Any inquiries? No, just a long time swam at it and a couple of sharks followed it. Look at the sky behind oh, you. Magic, hey? So nice. It's just such a beautiful time of the day. I think we've got just enough wood. So the sand caves can be quite challenging to get a fire going because any of the wood here is just so drenched in salt that it holds a lot of moisture in. But we've got a couple of good bits here that should keep us enough to cook up dinner anyway. All right, tonight the back to basic beach kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Fish curry without curry. <laughs> <laughs> so just fish? So it's gonna be grated fresh coconut and coconut water yeah. with potatoes, onions, salt, olive oil, 
and the bluefin that you saw earlier. I'm excited for this, Fran. It's nice to see your cooking skills being shown off with a few more ingredients. It's been tough with uh, the castaways, hey? These are not cooking skills at all. <laughs> this is just all the ingredients that we had put on together. <laughs> Gonna fry potato and onion first. It's a really nice pole base there. There we go. <laughs> so the island touch to our dinner is gonna be fresh coconut grated through the mix. All right, I'll grate this in there, eh? Yeah. Yum. Need a little bit more liquid into the mix, don't we? That's it. I'm gonna put the fish in now. All right. It's a lot of fish. Yeah, it is. Well isn't it? Smells really nice, Fran. Nice. It smells fantastic, Fran. I don't know about the look of it, but <laughs> it's delicious. I've just tried it. Great. And I've just been for a swim to the boat, so any warm food will be great at the moment, I reckon. Hot. <laughs> Hot but delicious. Mm. So nice. Good. Delicious. <laughs> nice. The coconut really gives it a sweet taste. Yeah, it's a good touch, eh? The coconut. Mm. Yeah. Nice. You should try. Follow yeah. us for more recipes. <laughs> Can you share this recipe on Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> At Stricken Fred on Instagram, eh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Those cheeky buggers heading straight for the pan. Get out of it, mate. Good elf. <laughs> All right, we're going for a nice snorkel. We'll take you down with us. Hopefully to, the corals is spawning. To be quite honest, this is absolutely the last thing I would like to be doing at the moment. It's cold and the fire was a lot warmer and more pleasant, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Hopefully it's all right. Oh, mullets jumping everywhere. You ready? I'm ready. Let's, let's do it. Let's go. There's so many particles in the water. We dropped the anchor right on a sleeping turtle, Jack. That's scary. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Yeah, thanks so much for coming along and we'll see you next Sunday. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We're on Facebook and Instagram as well. Yes we are, see Thank ya. You.